Hey Jags, just a quick shout out to our top 10 percenters. What an accomplishment. We are so proud of you. 10% of 600 for the math experts out there is only 60. So you are the top 60 kids in the entire graduating class. So I wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate you. I know that it's four years of hard work to get to this point. Uh, and your journey, of course, is only beginning, but you have set yourselves up for an amazing future. We hope that it continues. Uh, we are always here to support you, and we look forward to hearing from you and seeing all the wonderful things that you're going to do in the future. So congratulations, Jaguars. We are so proud of you. Top 10%. Congratulations on making the top 10% and congratulations on your graduation. I am so proud of you. Um, I am going to miss our lunches. They were very special to me. I learned so much from you and I hope that you learned just as much from me this school year. I, I also will miss you in our Women of Tomorrow meetings. You are definitely an amazing young lady and I know you're going to go places and make a difference in this life. Make sure to keep in touch with me and let me know how things are going. My lunches are definitely not going to be the same. You'll always have a special place in my heart. Take care and congratulations again, Ms. Howard. My name is Miss C. I am speaking on behalf of Miss Samantha Alicia. First of all, I just want to say congratulations, Sam. I am so proud of you and you're going to do amazing things at the University of Florida next year. And also, I am going to miss you like crazy. I started as a teacher the same year that Sam started as a student. So when I think of Coral Blades, it is synonymous with Sam. I, I just can't see going back to that school without her, but somehow I'll have to manage. Um, don't ever forget, Sam, that whatever you put your mind to, you can accomplish. Freshman year, you said you would be president of the Mu, of Mu Alpha Theta, and sure enough, you did it. And not only did you come out on top as president, you came out on top as one of the best presidents that I've ever had the pleasure of working with. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me as a teacher to help me grow professionally, and thank you so much for everything you've done to be a wonderful student and president of Mu Alpha Theta. I'm going to miss you so, so unbelievably much, and congrats, and you're going to do great things.
Hi, this is Mrs. Andresi, and I'm going to speak on behalf of Jessica Aranda. Jessica was in my third period English for Honors class, and she was a wonderful student, um, was very reliable and very responsible um, and very sweet to have in class. And I wish her the best of luck, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Good luck, Jessica, and great job. Hello, my name is Craig Huckabo, and I, like many others at Coral Glades, am a recovering teacher of Natter Balkis. I know it will be a long path to recovery, but deep down inside, I truly believe that we can overcome the last four years of torture. I first met Natter as a pesky sixth grader at Sawgrass Springs Middle School, and I can still vividly picture him willfully ignoring all of the tips and information I gave him and playing his trumpet straight at the floor just for laughs. However, over the, the past four years, I'm proud to say that we've made a little bit of progress and he can now sit nearly upright while he plays. This year, Natter appointed himself as my personal assistant, which is really all you need to know about his personality. Over the course of his high school career, he has transformed his pesky, nagging self into a skilled and accomplished manager of other people. Not an easy task. Natter's skills have been put to great use in the JROTC program, the marching band, and also working concessions at the Hard Rock Stadium for the band program. Natter has chosen to attend FAU and then dental school, after which he will be able to professionally torture other people. Natter, good luck to you, and please, for the love of God, have mercy on your future patients. Hi, Bobby. Mr. K, your engineering teacher. Bobby, four years has passed and a lot has changed. When you started, you were this small, short, quiet freshman. By senior year, you were this tall, mature young man with white, no, blonde, no, brown. I don't know. Your hair kept changing too. What I do know, what did not change, was your perseverance, your intelligence, and the way that you chose to excel at everything you did throughout your high school career, including in engineering. So I wish you good luck, and it was a pleasure.
This video is for Ty Beasley. Thanks so much, Ty, for giving me the opportunity. I had the pleasure of having Ty in two classes, Cambridge Psychology as well as Sociology, and this is a student who lights up a room with sincerity and exuberance no matter what she's going through stress-wise in clubs or other classes. It's infectious to the room, and she's probably the only person who I didn't want to shake and say, why do you not display other emotions than being happy and dynamic? That same level of exuberance comes out in her academics. She can bring any kind of insight you're looking for, ideas, citing sources on just a whim. No matter what, she has it right there with her and she's dedicated to whatever she puts her mind to. Always engaged and definitely a pleasure to have in my classes for two years. This is the type of student that will be successful in whatever she wants to do in life. Thanks again, Ty. It's been a Great pleasure. I'm Ms. Sutton. I am Ethan's psychology teacher. So first and foremost, I want to say thank you for picking me to even speak for you. I feel completely honored. Um, secondly, I want to say I know most of you know that Ethan is um, super smart and super bright, but what I know Ethan to be is really just a humorous, modest child. Um, one of my favorite memories of Ethan is actually him talking in class about his class schedule and just listing off all of these APs and me whirling around and going, you do this all in a day? And um, he was genuinely just smiled and laughed and was like, yeah, it's not too hard. Um, I truly hope that you eventually do find a class that brings you a challenge, but also brings you as much joy and happiness as you brought to my class in psychology. You truly are a great student, really kind hearted. You can single handedly silence anyone with their complaints about how tough their life is or workload is, which is what you have to do in a single night. And you do it so humbly and you do it so well. So I know all of your future endeavors, they're going to be great. And I can't wait to watch you shine in them. Dominic Brooks, congratulations on making the top 10% of the class of 2020 for Coral Glades High School. You were always a bright spot in my day, always made me smile. I'm so proud that you have done so well, and I know that you will go out in the big old world and do very well there too. Good luck.
my granddaughter, who is about to go to college, asked me, Grandpa, what makes a person to choose to be a teacher? Two equally important things I answered back. The passion and love for the subject the person teaches, in my case, physics. The opportunity to help students with commitment, maturity, and responsibility to reach their goals. Like one student I have in my AP physics class, who on the top of all of that is smart, nice, and gentle. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you Dylan Bailey. Pine and today I'll be speaking on behalf of the amazing Miss Maya Calero. I am so thankful to have been Maya's coach and teacher for early childhood education. Maya is one of those young ladies who is always caught smiling and giggling and truly enjoying life. Um, she's extremely intelligent and with her hard work and dedication I know she's going to accomplish the most amazing things in life. Know that we are so proud of you and we're going to miss you. Can't wait to see all that you do. Hi Valentina, this is Miss Bayon, your AP Spanish teacher. You're not longer that girl that was afraid to speak in class. Watching you grow and bloom into the student that you are today makes me to believe that you can excel in whatever endeavor you try. I know that you want to be in the medical field. Please follow your dreams. Uh, I know Florida Atlantic University is very lucky to have you. I am still a little bit heartbroken by the fact that you turned down my AP Lead class, but I love you and I wish you the best. Please be happy and stay in touch. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations on making the top 10% and congratulations on your graduation. Thank you for always being so thoughtful and so bubbly and so understanding. You are a kind and compassionate young man. The pen that you gave me when you went to Europe will always stay in my office in my drawer. I have showed it to everybody that I can show it to and told them that you actually thought about me when you were on that trip when you didn't have to and that is very special to me. Congratulations again on and I hope that you accomplish so much in this lifetime. You are a bright young man and I know that you're going to go places. The sky is the limit. 
Congratulations, Ms. Howard. speaking for Mia Copeland. Throughout her time with me in Spanish class, all the way through this year as president of our Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica, Mia has been like a tiny little tornado in and out of my classroom. She's extremely organized and determined and she loves to jump into a project and finish it at record speed. She has no tolerance for dilly-dallying. I'm remembering this year when we sorted and bagged candy for our fundraiser, Mia had all the officers assigned to a job and the bags filled before I could even see who had shown up to work. Mia is definitely a go-getter, a true leader focused on helping others and bringing a group together to achieve a goal. I think this is why when I think of Mia, I'm reminded of that song, Beyonce song that says, who run the world? Girls. I know that one day Mia will definitely be running her little corner of the world. Congratulations, Kayla, for making the top 10% of the class of 2020 of Coral Glades High School. You wrote a poem called, I am beige, but I want to tell you, you have never been beige in my eyes. You've been the colors of a sunset, the colors of a daybreak, the colors of a rainbow, but never beige. So go out there and do great things. Take care of yourself.
congratulations, Daniela, for being a part of the top 10%. This is Mrs. Brissett. I wish you much luck and good fortune in all of your future endeavors. I know that this year has been very hard for you, but rest assured, after this year, you know you can accomplish anything that you want to do. Good luck with everything, and I'll miss you. Our DECA chapter would not be where it is today without the hard work and dedication of Jacob Evans. As a freshman, I challenged Jacob to build his own path within DECA and not just simply follow in his sister Courtney's footsteps. Every step of the way, Jacob has faced that challenge head on, breaking out of his shell to become the amazing leader and young man he is today. Our members always look up to him, not just because of his height, but because of his natural ability to relate to everyone. Last year, after shutting DECA down for a few months, I went to Jacob to ask if he would help me rebuild the chapter. Even though I know it was a difficult decision for him, he agreed, and I can't truly express how much his trust and loyalty to DECA personally means to me. Jacob, I wouldn't have been able to rebuild DECA without your leadership, and we wouldn't have been able to accomplish everything we have since if it wasn't for you. I am confident you will do amazing things at UF, and our DECA chapter won't be the same without you. Haley, congratulations on being in the top 10% of the graduating class of 2020 for Coral Glades High School. You have worked very hard and you deserve it, but I'm really going to miss you. After all, you've been in six classes of mine in the last four years, so I don't know how I'm going to function, but you're going to go out there and you're going to be hugely successful. Have a great life and keep in touch.
my name is Mrs. Pine. I am so thankful to be speaking on behalf of Clayton Drain. Clayton is motivated, funny, hardworking, and a team player. He's been a part of my Student Government Association class for the past couple of years. There where he has amazing school spirit and everything that he participates in, and also a lot of humor where he's making everyone laugh and smile all around him, especially me. He's off to FAU where I know he's going to continue to do amazing things. I'm so proud of you. And one last time, because I know it's your favorite, Clayton! I was asked to be brief and brief I shall be. Um, I'm going to start with Gabriella Gomez or Gabby as uh, we know each other. Gabby, um, thank you for allowing me to speak uh, on your behalf for the upper 10%. Uh, it's an honor. And uh, I just wanted to say that um, for those years that I've had you in my class, you've always gone above and beyond and I'm really going to miss you. You had that great sense of humor and uh, you were driven. And even though you are not going to become a chef, you will be a doctor, and I'm sure you will be a great one. Um, so as one sailor said, uh, as sailors say to each other, when they part ways, may you have fair winds and following seas for the rest of your life, Gabby. And by the way, just for the record, those plantains with cheese and guava were amazing. I don't care what anybody else said. Goodbye, dear, and good luck. My name is Craig Hockabo, and today I am proud to speak about Andre Hada. Andre has been a member of the band program for the last four years, and during that time, he has grown into an amazing young man. As a freshman, Andre was placed in the top band class, something he initially struggled with, but he persevered and has blossomed into a wonderful performer throughout his time in high school. He's also become an impactful leader to his peers and section mates. I also had the pleasure of teaching Andre in the AP Music Theory class, where he and I shared many conversations about our mutual Japanese heritage, including our separate trips to Japan. Even more interesting to me is his early upbringing in Brazil, his knowledge of Portuguese, as well as Brazilian food and culture. Next year, Andre is planning to attend the University of Florida to study aerospace engineering, where I'm sure his intellect and sense of humor will serve him well. Good luck, Andre, and don't forget to keep in touch. Uh, it's Mr. K, your engineering teacher. 
you and I have more in common than you might think. Forget the obvious good looks and great hair. But seriously, you're a hard worker and always get your assignments done in my class. Like me. You always let other people take the lead, even though you're a born leader. Like me. You're quiet in my class. Not like me. You always have a smile on your face. Not like me. You're popular and have a lot of friends. Not like me. Okay, maybe we're not so much alike. Maybe we don't have so much in common. Remember, you can accomplish anything you put your mind to, mind to Adisa. Good luck. and it's my pleasure to speak for Victor Hernandez Brito. And I know, Victor, that we always joke around that you're just keeping on or keeping up the Hernandez legacy because you're a posse scholar, but I just wanna let you know you are you. You are incredible, Victor. You have such a generous heart and you have such an incredible work ethic and you are so intelligent. And those three things will take you far. I'm very proud of you and I'll miss you while you're off in Pomona in California. Good luck, Victor. one time in class when Jose was working on this swirling atmosphere in a seascape and I commented on how wonderful the painting was coming along and he, he looked at me in all seriousness and said, I haven't even added the dragons yet. That quote is written on my board and it is not coming down. Jose, good luck at Syracuse next year. It's a, it's a great school, but the best part hasn't even arrived yet. My name is Lilia Komneva and I am a math teacher at the Coral Glades High School. Today I am here to speak on behalf of Jamie Heron. I know Jamie for three years as she was a student at my pre-calculus, calculus honors and college algebra class. 
Jamie was always very neat, very accurate, very detailed, paying attention to each particular step of a mathematical solution. And it was a pleasure to grade your assignments and see a deep knowledge at her work. Jamie, since the first day I met you, you impressed me deeply as a highly motivated, goal-oriented student of lively personality and creativity. Your time management is excellent. You have the ability, knowledge and drive to succeed at any program. And you always have my whole heart support. impact on your life. Well, the truth is, you had a large impact on mine also. Having you all four years of high school, I've had the privilege to see you grow into the man you are today. I've come to realize that your motto is move forward. Whenever you're faced with a challenge, you don't say you have to move past it. You say, I have to move forward. I commend you for that. I know you're going to be successful at whatever you do, but you're going to be faced with challenges. So I say to you, just move forward and good luck, Sean. remember the first day that he came into my office and said to me, Ms. Barreras, I want to do early admission. And I remember telling you, Justin, as long as you get, do not get anything below a B. And sure enough, you've kept up your superior grades. I'm very proud of you. Justin, I want to leave you with these words because they remind me so much of you. A bird sitting on a tree is never afraid of the branch breaking because his trust is not on the branch, but on its own wings. Always believe in yourself, and you do believe in yourself, Justin. So wherever you go, much love from Ms. Barreras and from Cora Glaze. this time to congratulate for Brian. I met Brian uh, two years ago. Uh, we first met uh, as he was leaving. We talked about tennis. Um, 
I remember unlocking a gate for him to get his bike and we talked about his tennis and talking about his academics and the schools he wanted to get into and what he wanted to do. I'm very proud to say that being as the team captain, Brian has accomplished many things. Um, I wish him the best in what he's going to do in the future and the college of his choice. Good luck, Brian. My name is Craig Huckabo, and it is my honor to speak on behalf of Zuzie Idani, an outstanding student of mine for the past four years. Josh, as he has asked me to call him, has more nicknames than I can count, which is fitting for someone with so many different talents. Josh has grown into a very talented French horn player, a wonderful student leader, and an exceptional student. His cool demeanor, coupled with a strong drive to improve, have had a huge impact on the other students around him. My favorite memories of him center around the chamber music groups he's been a part of, always a strong musical contributor and cutting right to the point whenever an issue arises. I'm very proud to share that Josh will be attending Northwestern University next year, our third band student in three years to be admitted. His talents will be missed at Coral Glades in the future, but I know he will do amazing things. Good luck and best wishes, Josh. Miss Jensen and I'm honoured to be presenting Chloe Ireland today. I will never forget how Chloe and her friends would stay after class and tell me the most ridiculous stories, their contagiously funny laughter would ring in my classroom even after they left and would always brighten my day. But Chloe is more than just a face in her group of friends. Chloe is an exceptional young woman and an absolute pleasure to teach and know. Thank you Chloe for always being patient, kind, selfless, respectful, dedicated. I'm so proud of you and I wish you the best of luck in your future after Glades. Good morning. I was asked to be brief and brief I shall be. Uh, Viviana Jimenez, I am honored that you asked me to speak on your behalf for the upper 10%. Uh, 
um, which you richly deserve, by the way. Uh, Viviana, I am going to miss your quiet drive, your quiet sense of humor. And thank you for putting up with my grumpiness and my bad mood swings. And I want to especially thank you for being such a driving force at the uh, Pro Start competition that we did this year. You were amazing, young lady. And uh, I'm going to finish this off by just saying that I, I, I will miss you. I will miss your smile. And uh, fair winds and following seas uh, for the rest of your life, dear. Good luck. This is Mrs. Sutton. I am so honored that you would ask me to speak for you as you are awarded top 10%. You are such an incredible girl who has developed such an amazing and mature insight into people and into the world. You are so kind and beautiful. Continue to see the big picture and help those who don't. You chose your own path through high school and look what an incredible job you did. Almost 50 credits toward college. Cha-ching. I have never heard it said better, and boy, you are right. Success does not bring happiness. Happiness brings success. To be so wise at your age. Being a Gator will be an unforgettable chapter in your life. I remember that it was a great place to learn and grow. God bless you and your hard work. I promise it will pay off exponentially. Please stay in touch with me throughout your life because I cannot wait to hear how wonderful it will be. Destiny, you're so important to me. I knew when we first bonded at the 2018 DECON convention that you would always be important to me. I saw a strong, intelligent, passionate young lady and I was inspired. Our bond only grew during the junior year when every day began and ended with us. I will truly miss spending time together during committee meetings, DCM and DECON. You are a thoughtful and genuine person, not just in words, but in actions and I hope this never changes. I'm so happy you won't be far away. See you in Boca. Yours in friendship and service, Stacey Lehrman. pleasure being here uh, letting everybody know that I, I think you're a very special young lady uh, you have a warm spirit and a warm heart 
I'm so excited also that you were accepted at UCF and that you got awarded one of the top night scholarships. I wanna share these words with you because they mean a lot to me and I know they remind me of you. Whenever you find yourself doubting how far you can go, just remember how far you have come. Remember everything you have faced, all the battles you have won, all the fears you have overcome. And that's you, Emma. Lots of love, you take our heart, you take my heart especially. Um, we're gonna miss you, but wherever you go, a lot of success, bye-bye. Greg Huckabo, and I'm very proud to share a few words about Harrison Lay, an exceptional band student of mine for the last four years. Harrison has grown into an amazing leader and performer and will be greatly missed for years to come. Harry has been a consistently strong student beginning from when I first met him as an eighth grader at Sawgrass Springs. He has served as trombone section leader for most of his four years in high school and also served as band captain to the marching band this year. He's also been selected to the All-County Band several times and has been an active participant in many different ensembles at Coral Glades. My favorite memory with Harrison is probably one night last year when the brass choir and I went out to the wrong door at a gig and had to climb over a chain link fence to get out. I kept trying to imagine what I'd say if security approached, but thankfully we were spared the embarrassment. Harry has an incredible sense of humor and his boundless energy is infectious to everyone around him. I know these traits will serve him well throughout life. He has chosen to attend Johns Hopkins University to study mechanical engineering next year. Harrison, I'm so proud of, it, of you and everything that you've done over the last four years. Good luck and best wishes as you move forward on this next stage of life. Hi, this is Coach Franco, the head coach of Coral Glades Baseball Program. Um, just want to talk a little bit about Cole Lee. Uh, Cole Lee was a four-year baseball player for me in our program and truly was a great leader, great student athlete, uh, did well in the classroom, uh, did well on the baseball field, uh, and was a real true representation of what um, a student athlete is for, um, for the Coral Glades Baseball Program. Uh, he's going to be missed. Um, I, the future is very bright for him. And... Um, Definitely glad that he was a part of our program the last four years. This is Mrs. Sutton. 
I am so very proud of you. You are absolutely incredible. Your hard work and tenacity were obvious when you were in my geometry class, but reached a professional level in your senior year as my teaching assistant. I never had to plan for you or find work for you. You intuitively knew what I needed to have done. You were invaluable to me. You will have your pick of jobs and will be very successful running your own business if you choose. Hard work is what it is all about. You will have enormous success studying criminology. You have such an attention for detail and ability to focus on the task at hand. Keep in touch with your friends and teachers. It's wonderful to be able to go way back with people. I want to be one of those people that you go way back with. Please always stay in touch throughout your life. From one knoll to another, get ready for some great experiences. God bless. speak on behalf of Elizabeth Made. Ellie, as everyone calls her, is one of the sweetest, kindest, most loving young ladies I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. Ellie is not a one, not a two, but a three-time state champion cheerleader. In addition to three state titles, she has won three regional and two district titles. She's got more bling than Kim Kardashian. She is captain of her sideline and competition cheerleading team, a BCAA scholar-athlete, a UCA All-American cheerleader, and was chosen Miami Herald first team. As if that isn't enough, Ellie has logged over 900 community service hours, most of which she got working as a team coach for the Coral Springs Chargers and volunteering at Broward Health Rehabilitation. Girl, when do you sleep? She is part of our HOSA program, which will help with her goal of becoming a physician's assistant. I remember when Ellie was a freshman and her mom reached out to me to ask how she can register for dual enrollment as a sophomore. I was shocked and remember telling her mom, Allison, you know, this is a college level course. Are you sure she's mature enough? Boy, was she. Ellie is graduating with a 4.8 GPA and 32, yes, 32 college credits. Ellie will be attending UCF in the fall. I am so proud to know Ellie and her wonderful family. My speech wouldn't be complete without a little gift. So first, ring pops to add to your bling, and this cup made with love. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. I will miss you. P.S. I videotaped this on your birthday on purpose. So happy 18th birthday. I love you. Over these past four years, Kaylee, you've grown into a lovely young lady. 
you are kind, polite, respectful, and determined. You walk into a room and you greet everybody and make sure that you say hello or make sure they say hello back. You're not afraid to ask for help. In fact, I remember you trying to ask for help during a certification exam and me having to tell you that that was not okay. I know you're going to be successful at no matter what you set your mind to. I just ask that you not lose track of who you really are. Good luck. You're accepting an easygoing personality as the glue that holds NHS together. Whenever we need someone to encourage us, no matter how crazy it might be, your sense of humor and quick wit lets us know that we shouldn't worry. You don't seek the spotlight, you try to lead from behind and always put others ahead of your own needs. Thank you for always helping me find the car wash sign up sheet, even though I've convinced you it's nowhere to be found. You made this year great. Have a great time and good luck at FSU. Hi, my name is Tammy Shane, and I am thrilled to congratulate Noah Milrat for graduating in the top 10%. One of the things that I love about being an English teacher is getting the opportunity to have that unique insight into our students' way of thinking when we read their writing. And so even when a student is rather quiet in class, which Noah often was, I still feel like I got to know him throughout the year through reading his writing. And what I've learned about Noah is that he is a brilliant, kind, compassionate young man. Noah, congratulations, and I wish you all the luck. Take care. Good afternoon. I'm Jama Davis and I was invited by Jasmine Nacham to take part in this top 10% celebration. I am delighted to be able to do this. I am so proud of you Jasmine and I was so delighted to have you as my student last year. I find it interesting that you were my junior that had senioritis even before you were a senior, but obviously that's done nothing to affect your success. I'm so excited to hear what is in store for you in the future and look forward to hearing wonderful things. Love you, sweetie. Take care.
This video is for Laura Espina. Thanks so much, Laura, for giving me the opportunity to speak. Uh, I had the privilege of having Laura in two classes, Cambridge Psychology as well as Sociology, and watched her kind of cultivate herself from somebody who is standoffish about deep topics and profound material to where she actually, through her own determination, grabbed the bull by the horns, started looking deeply into the information presented, and actually became a leader in the class to where she was helping others and asking for further information and knowledge than what the class even required. So that growth is definitely demonstrative of somebody who's going to take charge and discipline herself to do great things in life. Thanks again for the opportunity, Laura, and good luck. to be speaking on behalf of our current SGA president, Ms. Andrea Rega. Hardworking, loving, dedicated, and creative are a few of Andrea's many amazing characteristics. Throughout her time here at Coral Glades, we have made amazing memories, such as winning cheerleading states together and hosting Dodge Away Cancer Dodgeball Tournament. Andrea is off to FSU, where I know she will continue to do amazing things, just as she has here at Coral Glades High School. I will miss you, and I am so proud of you. It is my pleasure to have taught you both in 10th grade and 12th, 12th grade. So for two years, you've always been beautiful, both inside and out. But as your teacher, I've seen your growth as a student. You are heads and tails above the rest. While your peers suffered from senioritis, and I mean severe senioritis this year, if you did, you hit it well for me. You always came to class ready to go, ready to participate, ready to take notes, and of course, ready to ask questions. I appreciate that about you. And that same work ethic will translate into all of your future successes. I wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Love, Mrs. Brissett.
We've all had those stories of students we just can't forget, who scored the highest test score, who made us laugh unbelievably, who had stories of inspiration. All of these things wrapped up in a ribbon, tied up in a bow, are how I feel about you. I respect and admire your devotion, dedication, and compassion, and countless other virtues you possess. I've had the most amazing year, and I know it was because of your leadership and the strong relationships you foster. I will truly miss you next year, and my day will no longer be complete without your witty humor and friendly smile. Good luck next year at FSU. Over the past four years, I have been lucky enough to have had the opportunity to watch Jack Schwartz grow into the outstanding student and young man he is today. He went from barely speaking to me during freshman year to being comfortable enough this year to correct my teaching during ACE visits. Talk about tremendous growth. In all seriousness, Jack has always been someone that, regardless of the circumstances, never gives up. His hopeful and optimistic attitude helps motivate others to always look on the bright side, helping them believe that they can accomplish anything. Jack exudes dedication and passion in everything he does, is always willing to lend a helping hand, and truly embraced every member of our DECA family. Jack, I know you were disappointed by how your DECA career came to a close, but being a Florida DECA first place winner and a top 20 international finalist is something no pandemic can take away from you. I am so proud of the person you have become, and I can't wait to follow your future success at UF. and I'm a math teacher at the Coral Glades High School. I'm here today to speak on behalf of Aiden Steinberg. I know Aiden for three years as he was a student at my pre-calculus, calculus honors, college algebra and college trigonometry dual enrollment classes. Aiden, I can say it honestly that you are very gifted in math. Uh, you are effective, knowledgeable and talented at learning quickly and adding value to any team. What really made you special for me, it is your spirit. I never seen you in a bad mood through all those three years in my classroom. And I will always remember you as a bright young man with blazing intelligence, energy and determination. Best and only best wishes to you and your family.
Misha, everything you do is to make the world a better place, and it seems the perfect opportunity to say thank you for sharing your compassion, kindness, and patience with me. It's rare to find someone whose outer beauty and inner beauty are in perfect combination. Everyone who has had the pleasure of working with you on raising money or awareness for cancer research and juvenile illnesses is incredibly grateful for your amazing work. We will continue to make your craft bags. We will have our murder mystery night and inspire runners with I Cure and I Can, and we will remember you fondly. I can only imagine the great things you do at FSU. Have a great time and good luck. I'm Tammy Shane. I am thrilled to congratulate Andres Torres for graduating in the top 10% this year. He's an excellent student who brings a sense of fun and humor to the classroom. One of my favorite memories of Andres is when he came to class dressed as grandpa from a novel we were reading extremely loud and incredibly close. And I appreciated not only his humor, but also the fact that he connected with this character. Andres, thank you for always bringing a sense of fun, humor, and interest to my class. I wish you the best of luck. Take care. the top 10%. It was my pleasure to teach you both in 10th grade and in 12th grade. And it's also my pleasure to have been your advisor for Key Club, School Advisory Council, and of course, one of our Silver Knight nominees. Thank you for being such an amazing student and person. I truly don't know what I would have done without you for the past three years. Without you, my classroom would definitely have been swarmed by rats right now with all of the papers and junk that I like to collect and keep and you made me purge and maybe after you I'll continue to purge who knows but I wish you the best of luck at the University of Maryland and I expect to hear great things from you I am so proud of you congratulations Nee.
person who lends a helping hand to someone who cannot stand on their own and continues to lend the helping hand until they're back on their feet. Your selflessness and compassion are the cornerstone of your key club service for the past four years. I have always known that I'm not as good as a Vader as you, but your polite and respectful demeanor continue to amaze me. I love your ability to be brilliant and humble at the same time. Thank you for demonstrating that you can always achieve greatness if you're willing to take risks, learn from your mistakes, and laugh at life's challenges. I will never forget our fond memories. Good luck at Emory.